Hi guys, I was getting a lot of requests on making a healthy and nutritious weight loss plan for small children and school going kids. So today I'm presenting a very easy healthy meal plan to help kids lose weight and fat. Before I begin, I would like to say that I never wanted to make a plan for children as I don't believe in restricting their diet at all. They're growing kids and should be allowed to eat as they wish. But obesity among children is on the rise and is a major concern for many parents these days. So we need to focus on the quality of food he's having and not the quantity. The primary reason for a child being overweight is unhealthy eating habits. Burgers, pizzas, chips and soft drinks are child's best friend. These are high calorie, low nutrition foods which slower the metabolism and digestion process of your kid. With this diet plan, I'm taking an initiative to help an overweight child to lose weight in a healthy way. The child will feel fuller for a long time and would be able to enjoy life to its fullest. This is an instant yet healthy plan which can be easily made and followed. It does not involve much of cooking and is dedicated to working mothers to help raise their children better. Mothers who have time and like cooking for their kids can comment me below requesting for a plan so that I can make one that suits your need. Do ensure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out any new videos from me. And for the breakfast, serve your child grains in the form of wheat bran flakes like these. I'm using shreddies which I showed in one of my previous videos on which cereal to choose. These are made of shredded wheat and its bran and thus are very high in fiber and nutrients. You can also use whole wheat bran like this or whole wheat biscuits like these. I'm sure most of you are aware of these biscuits. They are also familiar with the name Weetabix. These biscuits turn soft once dipped in warm milk and turn out to be an excellent breakfast meal. You can also use muesli in the breakfast. I have selected few products from Amazon and their links are in the description box. Don't use cornflakes, granola, artificially flavored cereals or mixes. Serve your child with something healthy and fat free. To make shreddies, I have taken one fourth bowl of these puffs. We need to limit the intake of added sugars, so for sweetness I am using only one teaspoon of brown sugar. Don't use refined white sugar. You can also add good quality honey or maple syrup for sweetness. Maple syrup helps with digestion and bloating issues. Bloating will reduce considerably once your child starts having this. Now we need to add fresh milk. You can use any you wish to, low fat, skimmed etc or with 1% fat. I have a can of 2% milk and a can of lactose free milk. If your child is not able to digest lactose then serve lactose free milk. Take a saucepan and turn on the heat. Add 1 cup of milk to it. After 3 to 4 minutes or once the milk is warm, turn off the heat and pour the milk in the bowl. Give it a gentle stir and in 1 to 2 minutes the puffs will soften. Serve a bowl of these with an apple. Serve it whole or cut it into slices. But don't replace the apple with any other fruit because it contains non-digestible fiber and polyphenols which reduce chronic inflammation and obesity. For lunch, serve this stir-fry recipe along with one weight loss roti. I have a series of weight loss rotis made of oats, chia, spinach etc. For stir-fry recipe, I am using 150 grams of malai paneer or cottage cheese. Why paneer? Because it's rich in protein and calcium. 100 grams of paneer will provide your child with 18.3 grams of protein and 20.8 grams of calcium. Don't use cottage cheese like this one in the recipe. If you cook it, it will melt down like mozzarella cheese and won't taste as paneer. Next take 3 to 4 finely chopped garlic cloves. Garlic helps reduce fat by speeding up your child's metabolism. I'm also going to use one fresh tomato. Tomato is high in chromium, fiber and biotin. Use a firm tomato so that it does not lose its shape while stir frying. I'm also taking few chunks of a medium sized bell pepper or capsicum, whatever you call them. Try using yellow or red peppers as kids love these colors and would love to eat them. And the last ingredient I'm going to add is fresh basil leaves. You can add any fresh herb which is with you, for example, coriander, rosemary, thyme, etc. Or if your child doesn't like any herbs, then you can simply skip adding them. Now cut the tomato into wedges. These should neither be too big nor too small. This is a 375 gram block and I'll be taking about 150 to 200 grams. Cut the fresh cheese into bite sized cubes. Now heat a pan and add no more than a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. If you're using a regular vegetable cooking oil then it's time to change the oil for the wellness of your family. 
Check my video on which cooking oil is best to know better. Once the oil is hot, add chopped garlic cloves. Once it start turning golden brown, add tomato chunks. Stir fry on high heat for half a minute and then add bell peppers. Keep cooking on high heat and then sprinkle salt to taste. I recommend using Himalayan pink salt instead of white table salt as Himalayan salt helps with bloating and water retention issues. The salt is easily available on Amazon and the buying links are in the description box. When you see tomatoes partially cooked, add paneer cubes. The entire process will take about 3 to 4 minutes. Sprinkle some more salt to season cottage cheese. Also add little crushed black pepper as it too helps in weight loss. Stir fry for 2 minutes. Do flip the sides of paneer to ensure uniform cooking. Next I'm sprinkling 1 tablespoon of sunflower seeds. These seeds are safe for children. They help in fast weight loss due to the presence of chlorogenic acid. You can also add pumpkin seeds in place of sunflower seeds if you like. In the end, add few basil leaves, stir well and turn off the heat. Shift it to a bowl and serve with one weight loss roti. Instead of the stir fry recipe, you can also make paneer bhurji. If the kid goes to school, then pack it in the lunch box along with disposable fork and knife etc for ease. After school or around 4pm, serve your child with one egg, one banana and a cup of hibiscus tea. Egg can be in the form of boiled, poached or fried. Ensure that the child has a yellow part too. Eggs control your appetite and food cravings and help burn belly fat. They are also a natural source of whole protein. Banana is one of the easiest fruits to have. They contain fiber which help in weight loss. Banana also has healthy carbs which will keep the child active and energetic while they play in the evening. Hibiscus tea blocks sugar and starch absorption and prevents fat formation. It's an anti-obesity tea with a delicious, tart, refreshing taste and your child will certainly enjoy it. Serve it warm and do not add sugar or honey for sweetness. Making this tea is simple. Just boil a cup of water and turn off the heat. Add one dried hibiscus flour and cover the pan with the lid. Let it steep for 5 to 10 minutes and the tea is ready. You can make 2 cups now as the second cup is to be given after dinner. Now it's time for your child to get involved in a physical activity like running, swimming, cycling, playing tennis, badminton, cricket, football etc. Make sure they play for at least 1 hour. This will keep their metabolism high and brain alert and focused. Activity in a day will also help them to concentrate in studies as well. Now around 6 or whenever your child is back from playtime, serve a glass of fruit milkshake. I'm asking to add a fruit like mango, strawberry or any other seasonal fruit because I don't want your child to have Bon Vita, Malto, Post, etc. They are full of sugar and artificial flavors and high in calories. If you don't wish to make a milkshake, just serve plain milk. Here I'm making a glass of mango shake. For this I've taken 1 fourth cup of mango puree in a blender jar. You can add fresh mango slices or any fruit bits. Next add 1 teaspoon of chia seeds along with 1 teaspoon of milled flax seeds. Chia is optional but flax seeds is mandatory. Now add 1 cup of milk, be it cow, almond, soy etc. If you want to make it sweet then add 1 tablespoon of brown sugar. Run the blender, shift it to a glass and serve the shake. Instead of milkshake or plain milk, you can also serve a glass of orange juice. You can make fresh orange juice, but if you're using the packed one, then make sure it's 100% orange juice without any added sugars, water or additives. Orange juice is rich in vitamin C and helps in weight loss. For dinner, serve healthy oats porridge or oats kheer with a cup of warm hibiscus tea. This is a very healthy recipe and its video is in my channel and the link to it can be found in the description box. Oats has both soluble and insoluble fiber. It stabilizes blood sugar levels. It also has magnesium, phosphorus, selenium, iron, etc. It will keep your child full for longer and helps with weight loss. This meal cannot be replaced with any other recipe. The child needs to have this for 10 days. However, you can change the fruit which is supposed to go in the oatmeal. Now it's time to share a few important points. Although this plan is mainly dedicated to kids, but it is still good to go for any age group in case you intend to follow, just ensure to adjust the portioning size. Shift to a healthy cooking oil like olive, avocado, etc. Serve hibiscus tea twice a day with 
or 30 minutes after meals. Junk food, chocolates, biscuits, chips, soft drinks, ice creams, white sugar and any other sugar rich foods are not allowed. Do not replace banana and apple. However, you can add any other fruit in the daily diet if you like. 30 to 60 minutes of physical activity is a must. It will increase the child's strength and muscle mass. If the child is hungry in between the meals, offer cucumbers, boiled eggs, berries, apple or any other fruit. In the lunch, instead of paneer stir fry, you can also serve palak paneer, chicken or egg wraps, raita or stir fries made with soy chunks, tofu or boiled chicken cubes. And last but not the least, let your child follow this plan as shown for maximum weight loss results. In 10 days, your child is certainly going to feel active with a positive mindset. Do like and share if you like this video and I will see you soon with a new one. Till then, remember, a healthy child means a healthy future. Bye-bye.